never had a hotel room with a view like that before. I mean, it's an iceberg. Anyway, welcome to day three in Greenland. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what happened to days one and two? I haven't seen any videos from Greenland yet. Don't worry. This is the video from day one, uh, but there was something that happened at the end of day one that I wanted to, to mention here. You've probably already guessed what it is based on the title of this video. Basically, at the very end of the first day here, my card corrupted, one of my SD cards corrupted. Luckily, it was one in my stills camera, and in my stills camera, my G9, I have two card slots, and uh, all was not lost because I was copying files to both cards, and one of the cards was fine. So, I didn't lose any photos, but I thought I'd talk a little bit about this before I show you that video, just because I've been asked quite a bit recently what I make of dual card slots, how important they are, and I think it's because some of the new cameras, <coughs> pardon me, got a cold, some of the new cameras, the new uh, mirrorless cameras, don't have two card slots. Maybe not all of them, maybe just one of them. Can't remember which, but I know that one of them, at least, doesn't have two card slots. What I'd say, in terms of whether or not you need two card slots, is this. Um, I have had two card corruptions in two years, and I count myself as really, really unlucky to have had that. I reckon if you take a normal amount of photos, you'd be really, really super unlucky to have a card corruption in five years. But the question you need to ask yourself is, if I do have a card corruption, is my reaction more likely to be, ah, oh, that's a bit of a shame, I've lost some nice photos there, or would it be like mine would have been the other day, which is, oh my god, my card's corrupted, the world is going to end. Because the other day, I was at this fjord in the middle of nowhere, probably the most remote place I've ever been, and I took some photos that I really, really liked, and if I'd lost those, it just would have been awful. And I mean, the photos aren't even just for me. I'm here with the tourist board, Destination East Greenland. So a lot of time and effort and money has been put into getting me here. And I think it probably would have been a bit irresponsible of me to go and take photos and put all of that time and effort and money on the shoulders of a £30 piece of plastic. And nothing against SD card manufacturers or SD cards themselves. All electronics break from time to time. And if you can build in redundancy to your equipment, then I recommend you do it. And sometimes that's SD cards, uh, sometimes it's lenses, so the reason I still carry this 12 to 60, this kit lens that came with my G80, is in case my 12 to 35 breaks, or maybe my 35 to 100, um, it's still a good option to have. Um, I obviously carry two cameras with me, I have two microphones with me, uh, I've got loads of batteries with me, I have two hard drives with me, I only have one drone, two drones seems a bit bit unnecessary. So yeah, as I say, um, I think it's important to build redundancy into your equipment and that includes SD cards because, well the other day I could have lost all my photos and uh, well, let me show you the video or the little the little vlog that I got and, and you can be the judge of how, how bad that would have been. But I, I like the photos so that would have been very, very sad. Here's the video. Good morning all, and uh, welcome to Greenland. Actually, do you know what, I've, I've already just told you about all the stuff that I'm about to say in this clip, so we'll just fast forward through that. Also, I've just remembered that we're going to breakfast first, and breakfast is, is inside, so I probably don't need four coats on. Mm. Hello viewers, we're, uh, we're trying to find whales and take photos of whales with, I'd say, quite a good success rate so far. Yeah. So, uh, this is Carlo. Hey. Carlo is a photographer and this is Unalak and he is a, uh, a filmmaker and uh, yeah, we're chasing whales and icebergs at the minute and I'd say it's going quite well. So uh, to sum up, I've been in Greenland less than 24 hours, I've seen incredible northern lights, I've seen thousands of icebergs and lots of whales, unbelievable. Uh, I didn't really do any filming for the shooting of the northern lights that we did last night, mostly because I spent the whole time 
picking my jaw up. Like I was completely speechless, which as you know if you follow this channel, doesn't happen to me a whole lot. I wish I could tell you more about where we are. The truth is I have absolutely no idea. The town that we're staying in this week called Tazilak, excuse my pronunciation once again, uh, that houses two and a half thousand people and there are no roads in and out of it. So the only way to get there is either by helicopter, which I did from the airport yesterday, or by boat, which we're doing today. And we've, um, we've come to, to this place, which is by far the most remote place I've ever been in my life. There's nobody else here other than Wales. We've, uh, we've stopped for lunch in possibly the most ridiculous place I've ever been. Uh, so behind me is a fjord, as you might be able to see. Above that is a huge ice cap, like ginormous. And then this side, there's a big glacier as well. And then also over this side, there's just loads of amazing looking icebergs. Absolutely ridiculous. What a silly place for a sandwich. Uh, one thing I will say just quickly before I do have my sandwich, when I announced that I was coming to Greenland, a lot of people said that it was on their bucket list. So they were looking forward to me talking about it and showing pictures from Greenland and stuff. What I would just say is that if it's on your bucket list, just put it to the top. Yeah, put it right to the top. Okay, lunch, check, photos, check. And now we're gonna get back in the boat and go over there, because apparently there's another glacier that you can only get to sort of once every 10 years and you can get to it now. So hopefully that's gonna be a good spot to, uh, to get the drone out. So I did. Um, luckily, I still have one battery spare, which I'm going to use for this glacier. And uh, wow! Well, uh, this isn't great news for a vlog, but I'm, I'm genuinely speechless. You got any words to say? Me? No, I'm speechless too. I have, you're probably used to this, aren't you? This is. Yeah, this is like a backyard for me. These guys are from the, the west side of Greenland, so I think this is still quite special for you, but oh, probably yeah, compared to how I'm looking at it, definitely. this is a bit different to Wales. Right, since I can't talk, let's have another go with the drone. Greenlandic music. What? Is this Greenlandic music? Yes, it is. Nice. I uh, I don't know if my drone shots did this place justice. All my actual photos. What I can say is the light is unbelievable. It's quite flat because I can see the sun, but there's clouds everywhere, and yet it's still so bright. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever seen light like this before. I love it here. You know how I was saying yesterday that I wanted my videos to have topics, even if they were just vlogs? I've got one for this video. Yeah? My, uh, my card just corrupted one of them. No! Yeah, yeah. But I have another one. Okay, so it's fine. that's good. So the topic can be about dual card slots. That's what this video can be about. All and right. also the fact that it's the most amazing place I've ever been. Uh, okay, then what would happen if you just 
That one SD card. I guess. Well, you can get recovery software, I think. In fact, I think most cards come with re recovery software, but I don't think it's guaranteed that you can get your files back. Oh. So, I could have lost all the photos that I'd taken today oh. if I hadn't had two card slots. Thankfully, I did. Thank you so much. Thank you. Here we come. Thank nice you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Um, yeah, so there we go. That was that was day one. Amazing day, and we had a race back to uh, back to the town in the boats, which I mean was choppy. Anyway, yeah, so that was day one. Uh, day two, which was yesterday, it was a bit of a weather day. It snowed a lot in the morning. In the late afternoon and evening, the light got a bit better but it wasn't particularly vlog worthy compared to the first day and compared to today, which is gonna be the next video. Today, we are, again, going in a boat and we're gonna go and sleep in a really remote hut where people have seen polar bears before. Hopefully we're taking a rifle. Thanks for watching.